Good evening, friends. We are again here with one more episode of Alpha Bytes, an idea which was germinated by our DG Sandeep Agarwala ji. On this platform, we bring together our incoming presidents or the ruling presidents with the rest of the district and the world of Rotary. With me, I am glad to have today the president of the Rotary Club of Mulwad, Mr. Nirmal Ganatra. Nirmal Ganatra, as the name says, Nirmal has to be Nirmal soft, as they say. And he is a commerce graduate with an excellent academic record. He came second in economics in his final year of studies. He is an ex banker, was working with HSBC. He runs a consultancy firm by the name of Vedant Enterprises, which provides services for debt funding and also loan restructuring. He is directly associated with more than 20 banks and NBFCs for debt funding. He is a certified financial planner and investment consultant. He takes good care of assets under management and has made many people millionaires. Good. That's a nice thing. He is handling clients in India and across the border too. He has won many awards in competition of sales targets from banks like ICICI, Dush Bank, Chola Mandalam in the year 2015 to 18. He was awarded Best Associate Award from ICICI Bank in 2015. He is a fellow of the Swadhyay Parivar. He is a student of philosophy, having great faith in Sanatan Dharma. He is passionate about reading, writing, sports and exploring new places. His mission is to connect and help entrepreneurs, professionals, homemakers and to achieve goals and financial freedom via his expertise of financial advising. He was secretary of the Rotary Club of Mulund in the year 21-22 and he is the current president. He is happily married to Hethel. She is from Mumbai, an MBA, an MSc postgraduate in chemistry, chemicals, presently a teacher. The couple is blessed with their son Vedant, which is also the name of his firm. Good. To begin with, Nirval, yeah. thank you for being with us. Thank you. Uh, a few direct questions. Yeah. How do you feel being a president of your club? Absolutely great because we are uh, the oldest club in Mulund. We are 59 year old club. So it is absolutely you know great pleasure to be a president of so prestigious club. Good. It must be a privilege. Yeah. And now at this juncture, suppose if you were to be given $50,000 for a project, which project would you like to carry out and why? Okay. See, uh, if, if suppose I receive $50,000 uh, for a project, so I would be going as an you know investment uh, banker. I will be doing it that way. Okay. I will be creating a fund of uh, that $50,000 because I want that funds to be utilized or rather say that funds to be churned out for years long and people should get benefited from that fund. And uh, there should be, you know, more number of beneficiaries from that fund. So I would be, you know, sir, the multiplying factor. Absolutely. Yeah. Good, good. <laughs> so I would be using that fund for a project by the name of microfinance, which our club already does. We are, this is the year which we have started that microfinance thing. And we have a very strict uh, assessment norms and you know every nitty gritties are been checked out. Everything has been so much uh, you know, taken into consideration that the beneficiary is actually in need of the funds. And uh, we provide to the funds we provided to the homemakers who are, who are running home kitchens or rather say a small you know, a, a kitchen with uh, supplies to uh, say kitty parties or some fa family functions, catering. catering services or to a rickshaw uh, auto driver or to an electrician. So we provide funds to them. So I want this money to be allocated in such a way that, you know, uh, this should be in recurring uh, implications to be there for uh, these funds. So I would for a long time to for come. a long time to come and people should get uh, more and more benefited out of it. But how many years we have been in Rotary? Rotary I've been from 2018. 18, so five, five years five now. Five years now. Yeah. And what has been your most memorable moment as a Rotarian? Uh, great, great question. Uh, there are, I would say, there are two most memorable moments of uh, being a Rotarian. 
uh, first is my installation in the prestigious club of rotary club of molon that was uh, uh, with the hands of uh, pdg shashi kumar ji okay uh, so that was my uh, one of the most memorable moment and the second one i would say a story for, to add up to this uh, once we, uh, we have we are running a project by the name of vocational learning scholarship that is vls uh we fund around about say 1 crore 25 lakhs in this year to th- 319 beneficiaries students basically so uh, while taking that interview of a student who was uh, who had applied us for a uh, uh, say learning scholarship so uh, i would ex- i would say a story for that okay, we were four uh, people who were taking the interview of that student he was uh, having 98% marks and he was a mb mbba student he when we were taking interview of that student he told one thing ke saheb mi ekda jevto ani chalat hospital la jato so you know it, it was like you know we were having goosebumps in our hands and all you know we were so obliged to that ke are this guy is asking for a money and he is an mbba student so immediately immediately one of the member who was taking uh, the interview of that student raised up and told ke beta aapka padhai ka kharcha kitna hai so he told and quoted say ke sir uh, 125000 is what i need and uh, for that mess and uh, eating food uh, would be around about say 20000 rupees so one of the members immediately told ke uh, aapka project ka paisa side mein rakhiye main is bacche ko sponsor karunga good great so great. it was uh, mm-hmm. one of the most memorable you know day of my life good that was a very nice experience absolutely uh, but which aspect of rotary do you enjoy most See, either is this fellowship or projects or uh, the family bonding or what do you enjoy most in rotary see there are, i would say ke, uh, there are two pillars of rotary one is fellowship and one is project yes so i enjoy fellowship evenings the most because you know in in our club we have a culture of calling the family members also for fellowship evening so you know there is a uh, interconnect bond with the family members and their families because you know uh, if, if somebody doesn't come for a family evening the next day we immediately call ke kya hua kyun nahi aaye right and, uh, what happened what is the uh, plus there uh, in your life you know uh, this is what connects us to being a rotarian and a rotary family yeah that's what they say service to fellowship service to fellowship good Absolutely. again yeah with your five years of experience yeah. which aspect of rotary do you enjoy most and what difference has rotary made to your personal and professional life one by one first professional then private Fine. yeah see as i told you the aspect is fellowship right so fellowship through projects so in professional life is projects through fellowship a uh, projects through fellowship theek hai matlab you know either way also. same thing either way also. so uh, in professional life uh, one thing i would say uh, this uh, the uh, rotary has teach me to dream big because you know it is always said that uh, with an in, uh, with an single hand you can do so little with more hands you can do much more much things more. much more so much more things, yeah. Yeah, so much more so uh, this uh, rotary has taught me this one thing uh, i relate to rotary as uh they have uh, guided me for uh, this also uh, for uh, project plannings also proper planning in my day to day activities because you know you should always have uh, your calendar uh, uh, ready with you ke what would be the next event you would be doing or rather say where you have to reach where you have to goal uh, setting goal settings and all that this is what we do in financial plannings also yes, yes. as my profession uh, is related to it so no rotary teaches the same way uh, in professional way and in personal life as i as i told ke you know uh, say if i want to help a beneficiary i can help to one two or other say 10 people but not more so when when i am connected to rotary club that is my rotary club of molon if i say ke i want to help a beneficiary i want to do this kind of a project so what we do is we assess the need of the community we plan accordingly and uh, 
there the beneficiaries what we see are much more bigger in number say 100 150 200 odd numbers are there so uh, in prof in personal life it, it is always that you know if we work in a team uh, it obviously helps to the community and the satisfaction what we receive after you know helping to the beneficiaries it, it, it is just amazing it is just amazing. So much more you know, regarding your personal life, as they say, hmm. your family, your children, how do you connect with them more or less after Rotary? Do they complain about you being more to Rotary? So, you know, uh, being a president uh, for uh, this current year, so uh, there are some ifs and buts. But, you know, once the fellowship evenings are there, so they come to understand, you know, they are supportive. They are supportive. Good, yeah. good. <laughs> Achha, now, your club being more than 50 years old, as you said. Yeah. So there must definitely be some ongoing projects. And uh, so would you like to strengthen the old projects or introducing new projects? What do you prefer? See, uh, I will break this question into two parts. Yeah. See, uh, we are 59 over year, year old club. So one of the project we are running from 1974 uh, by the name of Rotary School of Death. Yes. where we take care of the deaf uh, children and it is almost 47 or 48 years old project so uh, this uh, after three days of my uh, today's conversation uh, uh, we are uh, we have developed a speech room for a student of deaf wow. this is the state of art and you know uh, we we have taken a lot of efforts for this for uh, providing uh, the speech facility for the deaf students. And this is an ongoing project from 1974. So you're taking it forward. Absolutely. Good, good. And uh, another project, you know, uh, for strengthening this, uh, obviously you need, you know, a committee, a manpower, a skill, and it should meet the need of the society also. Also. So, once we start a project in our club, we have a culture of taking it for say, you know, 5, 10, 20 years because it is planned in such a way that it should benefit to the society. Good. Some or the other ways. Right? I can connect to your club. My father was a member of Absolutely, your club. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> So, very nice talking to you. Yeah. And I hope uh, the Rotary Club of Mulund hmm. goes forward, goes ahead with your leadership. Yeah. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.